welcome back to my channel. This is Alibrew11 and I want to thank you for supporting my first video for this year, Coming to America Episode 1. And for today's video guys, I want to share with you my secret of how I was able to get a 10 years multiple entry visit visa here in the United States. Disclaimer lang guys ha, this is not 100% guarantee that you will also be granted visa. I hope that this will guide you to have a great chance. I know a lot of us really dream to come visit to the United States. Coming to America is one of my biggest dream. In fact, number one in my bucket list. <laughs> Are you excited? So, for no further ado, come on, let's start. Guys, if you are planning on traveling to the United States for business, tourism, vacation, or visit, you may need to apply for a visitor visa. This visa will allow you to temporarily visit the United States and comes in the form of a B1, B2, or B1, B2 combination visa. Find out which visitor visa is best for you. The B1 visa is for individuals traveling to the U.S. for business. The B2 visa is for individuals traveling to the U.S. for tourism, vacation, or to visit family and friends. The B1 B2 combination visa is for individuals traveling for purposes included in both visa types. We normally want to know our chances of approval before proceeding to apply, right? So here are the list of documents that you may use to declare as proof of ties to help in convincing the consular officer that you are going back to the Philippines after the short visit. Please note that these are for reference only and not to assure the approval of your tourist visa application. It is on the decision of the U.S. immigration officer whether to approve or to deny your visa application. Guys, it is important to build your career or business. Immigration officers look at the length of your current and previous employment or business, the type of job or business you have or had, and your current salary or income. The consular officer may also take a look of your family obligation. Example of family obligations are elderly parents who need your presence to take care of their needs obligation to take care of your child or children, especially when they are still going to school. Property and personal asset. Financial assets are required to establish the ability to support the visit. Evidence of property and financial assets should also be provided as evidence that the applicant has a strong connections to his or her home country. Evidence can include ownership of real estate property, business, or house. Community involvement. Showing documents that you currently participate to your community may also increase your chances of getting your visa application approved. This may help convince the consular officer that you are happy with your involvement or obligation in a specific community activity and you are likely to return to your home country for this reason. Last but not the least, guys, is your travel history. If you have previously visited outside your home country for tourism and have not overstayed or have followed your allowable stay provided by the juristic immigration, then you are more likely establishing a trust to the immigration officer that you will not overstay during your visit to the United States and that you will return to your home country after your vacation. A consular officer may reject a B category visa applicant if they fail to satisfactorily prove that they have a residence in their home country to which they will return. In order to obtain a B1, B2 visitor visa, you must be able to show that you have strong ties to your country of origin. This is simply because U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, or USCIS, wants to be as certain as possible that you will indeed return home 
once your journey abroad is complete. is turned off and keep the aisles clear of all carry-on items take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items like tablets and cell phones when you open the overhead compartment be careful as items may have moved in flight and thank you for choosing american airlines Chicago and O'Hare International Airport. A passenger service agent will meet our arriving aircraft should you be in need of further assistance. If you're connecting onwards to other American Airlines flights, please visit AAE.com for your most current gate and departure time information or check the monitors in the terminal building. Here at O'Hare, American does utilize Terminal 3. Our scheduled arrival gate is K10. You'll find back. So, guys, those are the documents that you need to provide. One is your certificate of employment or your business permit. Second is your family obligation. If you have elderly parents or child or children that are still going to school. Third is your property and personal asset. Fourth is your community involvement. If you are affiliated in a group that rendered community service, it's a plus. So last but not the least is your travel history. If you have been traveling outside of the Philippines for tourism, if you went to Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, you are establishing trust of the consular officer that you are indeed coming back to your home country after your short visit in the United States. So the B1B2 visa application, guys, is not really that difficult. You can do it online or you can find a travel agency that can assist you. What is crucial is during the interview and how are you able to convince the consular officer of your strong ties to your home country. So on my next video guys, I will give you some of the uh, possible questions that the consular officer will ask and how you handle and answer it with Confidence. The secret is just be honest, have self-confidence, trust in the Lord, and smile. This is Alibrew11, and for those who hasn't subscribed yet, please do not forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and please do not forget to hit that bell icon for you to get notified of my latest video uploaded on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.